dear students the next topic is protoston equation for slider crank mechanism so protoston equation for slider crank mechanism so this is the slider crank mechanism so consider a slider crank mechanism as shown in figure so the displacement of the slider the displacement of the slider it is coordinated with the rotation of the crank oa now let us assume that the displacement of the slider is proportional to the rotation of the crank rotation of the crank and is expressed as sf minus si which is equals to c times of theta f minus theta i now let us assume that the length of the crank as uh, l2 the length of connecting rod as l3 now let the position of uh, the slider with respect to x axis it is located at distance of s yes, and with respect to y axis it is located at a distance of e and the position of the crank let us assume that it is theta now when the slider when it is moving let us assume that so the initial position of the slider it is represented by s i similarly when it moves over here so that distance it is represented as s f so s f and s i are the initial and final positions of the slider okay so this displacement of slider it is correlated with the rotation of the crank so with respect to the moment of the slider the crank also it will move so it will rotate from initial position to the final position now let us assume that the initial position of the crank with respect to si it is represented as theta i okay and similarly for final position it is represented as theta f so theta i and theta f for initial positions of the crank similarly si and sf are the displacement of the slider with respect to the initial and final position so where c is the constant of proportionality s is the distance of the slider from the origin theta is angle of rotation of the crank from the line of the stroke i and f or the subscripts for initial and final values respectively now let the coordinates of the points a and b so i have taken the two points a and b so now let us define the coordinates of this point a with respect to x and with respect to y similarly the coordinates of the point b with respect to y and with respect to x so when you see the coordinates of point a so i will simply draw one line over here so the distance of the point a along x direction it will be up to here so when i resolve this so the horizontal length it will be l2 times of cos theta similarly the vertical distance it will be l2 times of sin theta so that gives the coordinates of the point a similarly when you define the coordinates of the point b the value of x it is uh, yes and the value of y it is the value of b e. okay so the coordinates of the points x a and y a so the value of x a it will be l2 times of cos theta and the value of y distance from here to here it will be l2 times of sin theta similarly for this the value of x it is the smallest the value of y it is small b now let us uh, take so ab square so this ab square it can be represented as the horizontal distance that is uh, from here to here right you just form one triangle over here right so you apply pythagoras theorem okay so when you apply pythagoras i want distance from here to here okay so the distance from origin to here it is xa so it is a uh, xb the distance from here to here it is xa so we can write it as xb minus xa whole square plus the distance from here to here it is ya the distance from here to here it is yb so ya minus yb whole square 
So we know the values of the corresponding uh, the x and y distances with respect to a and b positions. So x b it is uh, given as s, x a it is defined as l2 cos theta. Similarly, y a it is given as l2 sin theta, y b is e. We just substitute this. Okay, so yes, minus l2 cos theta whole square plus y a is uh, l2 into sin theta, y b is e whole square. So you you expand this. So it is in the form of uh, a minus b whole square. Okay. So and the a b. So length of a b it is represented as l3. So which is equals to so a square plus b square minus two times of a b. So two times of s into l2 into cos theta plus again you apply for this a minus b whole square. So l2 square sin square theta plus e square minus Two times of e l two sine theta. So therefore, the value of this e b so it is l three so l three square which is equals to s square plus you can see over here l two square cos square theta l two square sine square theta. So if you remove l two square, we'll get cos square theta plus sine square theta. It becomes one. So this is l two square plus e square minus two into s into L2 into cos theta, and you write as it is minus 2 into L2 into e into sine theta. So I will rearrange this. I will keep x square. The remaining terms I will send it towards left hand side. So therefore, s square, which is equals to L3 square. So if I send this everything towards that side, it becomes a positive and negative value. So L3 square minus L2 square minus E square. This it becomes positive plus 2s L2 cos theta. Again, this also becomes positive plus 2 into L2 E into sine theta. Now, let us assume that so the two times of L2, except this. Okay, so two times of L2 are represented as small k1, and similarly two times of L2 E that I will represent it as k2 and the value of this l3 square minus l2 square minus e square i'll represent it as k3 so on substituting this we'll get s square which is equals to so two times of l2 so that i'll represent it as k1 so k1 yes cos theta plus this totally i represent it as k2 so k2 sine theta plus this term it is represented by k3 plus k3 so this is the Froderstone equation for slider crank mechanism. For more information, you can refer the textbook. Thank you.